Watch out, because Cal Kestis is packing some heat. Traveling sublight is a bit dicey these days. Welcome back to Star Wars Sublight, the channel where we give the hyperdrive a break to explore the finer details of a galaxy far, far away. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is the sequel to the smash hit Star Wars Fallen Order, a game which shocked and delighted fans with its single player story. EA treated fans to a teaser trailer months ago, but a reveal from Hasbro shows a potentially game-changing detail. At Comic-Con 2022, Hasbro revealed some new figures based on Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and what caught my eye was the blaster on Cal Kestis's hip. I'm inclined to take this as a pretty strong hint that gunplay will have a role in the sequel. You see, in his first outing, Cal Kestis was limited to his lightsaber and force abilities. I couldn't tell you how many times I wished I had a blaster at my side. We should be careful what we wish for, however, because in the trailer, I believe we see the Grand Inquisitor retrieving Cal Kestis's lightsaber. Could this mean Cal goes without the weapon of a Jedi in favor of something a little less, hmm, civilized? And while it's an exciting new direction for the sequel, I can't help but be reminded of the Jedi Knight series, which debuted back in the 90s. The first entry into that franchise, Jedi Knight Dark Forces, is nearly 30 years old and played very Doom-like, but it was the second entry in 1998, Star Wars Dark Forces 2, that introduced lightsaber combat alongside gunplay. Things only got better from there with Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, and Star Wars Jedi Academy. And though the last entry was back in 2003, this franchise is still a lot of fun to play today, if a little outdated. Still, I think there is a winning formula waiting to be replicated in the Star Wars franchise. Enter Star Wars Jedi Survivor with Cal Kestis and his new side piece, and we could be looking at one of the most entertaining additions to the Star Wars gaming galaxy in a long time. Aside from the new sidearm, Cal Kestis looks roughly the same if a little bit older. His sleeves rolled back, the poncho gone, and he's no longer clean shaven. The Cal Kestis we'll meet in Jedi Survivor looks less like a man on the run, and more of an adventurer. As of right now, we don't have a release date for Star Wars Jedi Survivor, although there's a rumor that it could be some point in March 2023. Either way, I'm sure we're bound to see gameplay sooner rather than later. When it does arrive, Star Wars Jedi Survivor will be available on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a beautiful rest of your day, and remember, the Force will be with you. Always.